Hello everyone, John Magyar, Senior Application Engineer with Altium. And I'll be talking about IPC standards. As a stakeholder in electronic product design, do you ever find it difficult to consistently meet manufacturing tolerances? Do you ever find project scheduling to be unpredictable due to unexpected board rework and other delays? Or what about going over budget due to scrapped board runs just because that new package footprint was slightly out of tolerance? These are just a few problems you may be facing attempting to achieve profitability in a very competitive market. You may be surrounded by top talent and excellent environment with the best equipment. But production yields could be higher, fabrication and assembly costs could be lower, and delivery dates, well, they could be improved. So what could help? One solution might be adopting industry standards. Using IPC standards ensures your engineers, designers, fabricators, assemblers, and suppliers are all following the same practices using the same terminology and methods. But who is IPC and what type of standards do they provide? The IPC, initially known as the Institute of Printed Circuits, is a worldwide trade association serving the PCB and electronics manufacturing industries, their customers, and suppliers. IPC's main purpose is to create design and manufacturing standards, guidelines, and support the advancements of our rapidly changing industry. Since its inception in 1957, the IPC has been serving the electronics manufacturing industry. It is the only trade association which focuses on all groups involved, be it PCB designers, fabricators, assemblers, part suppliers, original equipment manufacturers. Over 3,700 companies worldwide depend on IPC programs and services to continually improve their competitive and financial standing. IPC is a member-driven organization and your best source for industry standards, training, market research, and policy advocacy. The IPC offers a wide range of standards supporting all aspects of electronic manufacturing. There are far too many standards to go into detail here in this video, so let's have a look at the general categories. So as a PCB designer, you're very concerned about manufacturability. The first grouping here, Design and Land Patterns, has several standards which focus just on that topic. So how to produce footprints that are going to be manufacturable, and many other design practices in terms of layout, use of vias, and layering, and whatnot. Design transfer and documentation. How many times have you been on the phone with a fabricator or assembly learning about a delay because you thought you send them all the information, but never quite got there all as one package? So learning the methods to transfer design data and documentation so that your fabricators and assemblers can hit the ground running and not delay your design. PCB base materials. So what if you're pushing the edge on some designs with an application that requires high speed, perhaps different materials, uh, dielectrics or, and conductive materials uh, would be better for your particular application. You can find out about the details in these standards. Qualifications for PCBs. What finishes to use? What types of solder mask? All the details there. Bareboard acceptability how to test and design for um, reliable uh, bareboard fabrication. Soldering requirements. One of the key, one of the key concept, or one of the key factors in overall quality and reliability is soldering. There are several standards here written which address different methods of um, soldering and, and the process involved. Assembly acceptability, so what to look for in terms of the results of your assembly process. Cabling and harness acceptability, so likewise uh, good design guidelines for cables and harnesses. And then finally, electronic enclosure test acceptability, how to get everything packaged together as one product to be tested and um, be assured of high quality. So. 
Again, there are literally dozens of standards produced by the IPC, and you can purchase these online at the IPC organization website, which is www.ipc.org. And if you're a member, you can typically get these standards at a discounted rate. Membership has other advantages as well. Uh, you can become involved in different committees and local events through the IPC and actually firsthand influence uh, the advancement of the electronics industry. So overall, it's a very worthwhile investment in time to check out what the IPC has to offer in terms of standards and activities. For this uh, topic, and um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you very much for watching.